Okay, everybody, welcome back to Leesburg. This is where I buy, uh, this is where I buy used helmets for my, uh, for my, uh, you know, custom helmets. Because there's a place here where I buy, uh, used helmets. Let's go over there now. It's a nice, bright, sunny day. Well, somewhat. It's a little cloudy, but the temperature is about 60 degrees. It's a nice day. I thought I'd come here today, even though it is a bit of a long drive, to buy helmets. So let's go. All right, so here we are at the used uh, used sports go sporting goods store. They keep their helmets in the back. Over here, they keep the little things like, you know, footballs and footballs like that. And all kinds of little like shoes and football pads. As you can see, they have a wide selection of used sporting goods and gear. Yeah, if you want to buy some sporting goods and you don't want it to buy new, you want it to save some money and buy it used, this is where you go. They got baseball bats. These are new though. They look like new baseball bats. These are used baseball bats. These are aluminum bats. These are really used baseball bats. If you want used batting helmets, they got a crap load here. Ranging a price from about, uh, I guess about $5 to $20. As you can see, it's a lot. Baseball equipment, baseball stuff. But I'm not here to look for baseball stuff. I'm here to look for used football helmets. They don't keep it here. They keep it next door in their storage room. Pretty busy today. A lot of people here. Hmm. Look at these old hockey helmets. Those are hockey helmets. Well, this is my haul from uh, from the used sports place. Not much today. They didn't have much of a selection today. Not like not like they used to. But I was able to get these two. This is a Riddell Speed Adult. You know, that's pretty rare for only $50, as you can see. This usually costs, uh, the adult ones cost about uh, $150 to $200. And this is a shut advantage, medium size. I wanted a shut advantage to build uh, my uh, Washington Sentinels helmet. For some reason, this is also $50. But it's uh, like a Tennessee Titans. Maybe I can take the, the logo off and resell the T Titans logo there. Anyway, this is my haul for today. All right, I'm at the thrift store. One thing I notice here is I'm the only guy in here. I guess the guys don't do thrifting too much. I'm looking for deals on maybe some used clothing that has like uh, logos on it, interesting logos. And maybe some sports memorabilia and some military memorabilia. Books? No. I got enough books. I got a lot of books. Look at this piggy bag for seven dollars. Look at that. One of the coolest stuff they got is behind the counter. And that's going for auction. So like look at that. Look at that old camcorder. I think I had one of those. Yeah. Yeah, these uh, the coolest stuff they have is for auction. You can't really buy it, you gotta, you gotta bid on it. Look at that, you want a Chia Pet emoji? Emoji Chia Pet? It's unmistakable what kind of emoji that is. Uh, all kinds of electronic stuff that's kind of outdated now. Oh, look at that. Look at that, that's a shake weight. <laughs> look at that. See this? This is a shake weight. I used to have this on infomercials a lot back in the day. You take this and you just do that. It's kind of funny. When you do that, it almost looks like you're, you know, and that's how you use it. Which was the subject of a lot of ridicule back in the day. A shake weight. Shake weight is the flab busting breakthrough that trims your arms and shapes your shoulders at the same time. You just shake it back and forth. 
There's no motor, no batteries, and you get the results you want. Uh, well, back at the mall, everyone. I'm at Macy's. I don't really shop at Macy's. I'm just passing through to get to the main mall. This is the main mall. I just passed through Macy's to get to the main mall. So, I'm doing, going to the food court to get something to eat. I'm hungry. Let's go. All right, we're back at the food court. And as you can see, I'm having some Chinese today. I got my, my egg drop and my fried rice. I'm going to enjoy it. Well, this is my lunch for today. Combination fried rice. As you can see, we got shrimp, beef, chicken, rice, peas, together with my egg drop soup. And I'm gonna enjoy it. Okay, let's go to Walmart. <clears throat> While I'm at the mall, I usually go to the food court to have lunch, <clears throat> and then to the Walmart to buy some stuff that I need. There's the Walmart right there. <clears throat> I'm gonna go in there and <clears throat> buy some stuff. All right, I need, uh, I already got what I needed here. I needed a license plate frame for my for my car. But right now I need a bath brush. Something I could use to brush my back while I'm taking a shower because I find it hard to reach that part of my back and I need some kind of brush with a long stick on it to reach my back. So I'm here now in the uh, oh what is that? That's not it. I'm here now in the bath section. Maybe I can find a bath brush. Ah, here it is. There it is. That's what I needed. A bath brush. Except, uh, oh, Oop, I dropped this. Whatever this is. Oh, that is. That's what I needed though, a bath brush. It's only five bucks, so I'll buy it. You want the pink one, the gray one, or the blue one? Okay, I'm done. I'm back at the Macy's, which means I'm going back to, the, to my car in the parking lot. This is where I park, here at the Macy's. Well, it's not as crowded as it was over the holidays. Not that many people, but it is a weekend, so... We get a good share of people now. Okay, so now we're at the parking lot of the Macy's, as you can see. Macy's is a very old and famous department store here in America. It's one of the oldest and one of the most respected department stores here in America. Macy's. And I was just in the Macy's, but I didn't buy anything. I just parked here by the Macy's. And I could find my car. The next day. Hey now, can I get a, uh, a number one combo? Okay, what size five? Uh, medium fries, medium coke. Yes. Uh, one more, just like that. Okay. And a uh, ten-piece chicken nugget. Meal. No, just the nuggets. Sauce. Sweet and sour. There we go. That's it. Oh. All right. All right. Next window. Please. Thank you. Let's go. All right. Which one is it though? This one. This one. All right, we're at McDonald's uh, ordering some dinner because, you know, kind of feel like McDonald's anyway. Like a Big Mac and some fries. McDonald's has the best fries too, in my opinion. So let's have some McDonald's fries and a couple of Big Macs and maybe some chicken nuggets. And uh, that'll be good. Uh, we gotta pay first, and then, and then we got we can pick it up. It's uh, dinner time, so there's a bit of a line to uh, to buy some food here at McDonald's. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. And now I will pay. Hi, how you doing over here? What's that? Two yeah, that's it. That's the one. Okay, and now I'm just waiting for my food. Here at Mickey D's. Alrighty. Here we go. I got some ketchup. You got any ketchup? 
Put the, put the ketchup in there. Yeah. All right, that should do it. And the two sodas will be good to go right now. One soda, two sodas. You have the receipt? Yeah. The receipt? The Siebel? In the bag? Okay. Yeah. All right, thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, uh, that should do it. Let me just uh, check and see what they got in here. I mean, sometimes, sometimes they don't get it right and I have to go back. We got two Big Macs and Chicken McNuggets and we are good to go. Let's go. <sighs> oh dear, got a lot of people here. Might as well just, uh, alrighty. All right, that's our little trip to McDonald's. And uh, now, I'm to go home and enjoy my McDonald's meal. I can smell it. Mmm, smell that Big Mac, baby. Smell it, ha <laughs> ha. Three days later. potato chips and I need bananas too so first thing we need to do is buy some Advil which is over here somewhere okay well I got my Advil uh, now I just need some bananas and some cereal and maybe some uh, chips. I don't know where the chips are. When the chips are down, you gotta have chips. Look at these snow boots. Look at that. They're only $19. Look at that. They're on sale. My snow boots have started to deteriorate, so maybe I'll buy them. Some snow boots. Only 19 bucks, huh? Can't beat that deal. something I needed. I only came here to buy like a few things but then I ended up buying a lot more than I thought. So now I think it's time to go. Pay for this stuff and go. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen, my chicken, cotton bleu. 